So I want all of you to really think about in your businesses right now, are you asking your prospective customers to compare you? And we're going to talk about tethering yourself to your competitors, creating small degrees of difference. Or are you making it impossible for your prospective customers not to choose you? Better customer service. The Burlington Chamber was host to Laura McCullough, who discussed the art of the disruptive cure, helping businesses go from one of many to the only one. Disruptive cure brand. So fundamentally, I believe that um, most small businesses um, miss a big opportunity when they're positioning their business in a marketplace. So in business, you have three strategic choices. You can be the noise leader, you can be the low cost leader, or you can have what I call a disruptive cure. And a disruptive cure is basically creating uh, a disruptive solution to an untapped problem that exists for a narrowly defined audience. Um, unfortunately, the vast majority of small to medium sized businesses exist in what I call the land of ambiguity, uh, which is they don't have something that makes their business undeniably different and useful and meaningful to their market. Here's the thing, for those of you who do think that you have a disruptive cure, the vast majority of you probably do not, and you would not be alone. Uh, Bain Research did a study and they found that about 80% of managers believe that they are highly differentiated in their market. And that is a great statistic, right? Problem is that only 8% of their customers actually agree. So there is a huge chasm between how we see our brands and how the people who have the money and make the decisions see our brands. To learn more about how to create a disruptive cure for your business, you can view Laura McCullough's full presentation on your TV on demand. For Halton News, I'm Jessica Kading.